what's good, my fellow peasants? How are you doing? Uh, so, got my grind and the table in the shop because, as promised, we are going through the 192 page art book. It's, see, it's still sealed. Um, so, here it is. Oh. This is so sleek, guys. I really hope this camera will do justice for this art book. Um, I haven't looked in it, so hopefully, hopefully there's some good shit in here. So let's go through it. I'm opening this as I see it. So if there's any spoilers, because um, I've, I've had a fear that perhaps, say, Bahamut, um, a picture of Bahamut will be on it. Um, as we do know, here's a confirmed summon. I have not seen Bahamut in the game. I've not seen any spoiler on him. So there could be artwork of him in here. Just rest assured that if there's any spoilers, I will put um, like some sort of spoiler alert in the title. If it's not there, then it's not spoilerish. Um, so here we go. I'm kind of opening this upside down, but I can see in the camera. So uh, here we go. Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, that is very nice. It's got some sort of flip out of the Amano artwork wow so we've now got it on the box which um sorry that glare's kind of not doing it very good justice but we've got it on the ultimate collector's edition box it was so worth it this uce i saw uh, alpha omega sins unboxing and yeah i agree with everything he said um on it the quality of this the attention de de to detail is phenomenal like they've really gone all out on this ultimate collector's edition um and it made me laugh with the box section how many boxes there were so here we go the art of final fantasy 15. we have to kind of hold it up like this so you get a good look at it guys but uh i'm about 15 hours 16 hours into ff15 oh oh wow yeah this is this is really old artwork. I think this was 2014. Um, we first started seeing this. So this was kind of when Tabata started coming on board. We started seeing this artwork. I actually don't know who the artist is. It would have been nice if they'd have specified who the artist for this was. For this design. Um, I'm guessing it's Naora. It must be Naora, most likely. It's funny, this picture has always confused me. This never actually happened, did it? Uh, King's Glaive spoiler alert. This kind of isn't how it went down at the end of King's Glaive. Um, with Luna dressed like that. I mean, I wish she was dressed like that, but she wasn't. Uh, the Genesis part work. I'm going I'm to have to move on quickly. We've got 192 pages to cover. Oh! Oh, yes. This is the uh, dress. The Vivian Westwood, as they keep... Um, <laughs> emphasizing to us this dress has become like an icon in the game um, it always makes me laugh when Ignis makes comments on it <laughs> but wow the, this I don't know if this camera will pick up the colors but this is so well printed the paper it's printed on everything everything about the ultimate collect edition down to a T has just been phenomenal so this Niflheim picture Oh wow, this might be one of the best. Is what on earth is that? What is going down here? So I'm gonna have to turn it, guys, to see it myself. Is that Jesus? No, I have no idea what that is. But that is Arden riding in on a chocobo. Whoa. He's riding in on a black chocobo and he's being praised and heralded. Very interesting. I'm not going to do any tinfoil hat theories every time a page flips because I'll be here all day. Um, wow. Beautiful. Ravus. And uh, Ravus has heterochromia. I pointed this out in my playthrough. He's got some... Um, He's got two different coloured eyes. Now I look back at trailers, you can slightly notice it. But like one eye is slightly more purple than the other. Um, you can really see it in game. So I don't know if they um, enhanced it. Noctus. And uh, remember, this Noctus, there's pretty much a mirror image of this with red eyes. So we'll see if that's in here. The engine blade. 
I really love art books. I'm, I appreciate them. Oh, it's Young Noctis up here, if you can see that. I really appreciate art books, even though I'm absolutely terrible at art. I'm literally the worst you can get. I can't even... I've barely just progressed beyond the stage of drawing a line of blue at the top for the sky and a line of green at the bottom for the um, grass. Ignis. Uh, just going on to Gladiolus, people keep asking who's your favourite. I went in with Ignis starting as my favourite, but as the game's progressed, Gladiolus has really come through. Um, it's so clear that they've done what they said they set out to do, which was make Gladiolus more than a muscle man. He's reading books all the time, some of the lines he comes out with. But then there's bare love for Prompto. Oh, Plumpto. <laughs> Plumpto. Uh, and the, the aspects of the game I'm really loving. That I kind of wasn't so keen on when there was harping on about photos all the time. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, photos, big deal, whoop de doo That gun's really nice. Um, the photos is such a fun aspect of this game. I have burst into fits of laughter at certain photos um <laughs> they're brilliant this model of luna i've always found really interesting it looks very different to any other luna it looks different to king's glaive luna in-game luna anime luna it's kind of like another luna is that i'm kind of curious if that's 10 years older luna i don't know i've not been there i don't know if she'll be 10 years older this isn't spoilers any of this um oh wow look at young luna Looks brilliant, and uh, this was a this was a Kingsglaive poster. It came around Kingsglaive time, shortly after its release. Regis, oh, what a man! Not seeing much Regis in the game at the moment, but like I say, guys, I'm not I'm not that far through. Um, actually, saying that, they like they said in the patch they've involved, they've included Kingsglaive, an Omen trailer. That was such a good move. Ah, oh, these rings are loose. Eye. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just turn this for a sec so I can see it. Okay, so it does look like there is only one ring. Now, this is very interesting because this ring doesn't look much like the Solomon ring. Previously, that looked just like the Solomon ring from FF8. It kind of still does, but it looks ever so slightly different. I remember inspecting the rings in really close detail and it looks like the rings have had very minor changes especially in the anime <clears throat> where they look completely different <clears throat> god all this live streaming it's really making me lose my voice um regalia arden isonia on this most auspicious of days um i'm loving arden at the moment wow that is uh his name I keep forgetting his name the Italian artist Roberto Roberto it, Roberto something Roberto that he that is his artwork he was the designer for Arden he was the designer for Cindy uh, for Arania that is also his art style so I don't know if Roberto also did Iris that's possible but basically Roberto <sighs> Fellini, I think it's Fellini. He definitely did Sydney and Sid. God damn, look at. <laughs> I'll say Sydney, guys. I still do call her Sydney. I'm not out of the habit. Check that out. <laughs> I, one of the biggest disappointments is when I go back to Hammerhead and there's um nothing on my car that needs fixing. When I go up to Sydney, she's like, "Your car's fine." No, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> damn it all to buggery. But yeah. Uh, Roberto has a habit of creating dope as fuck looking characters and very sexy ones. Um, he did Emina Hanahuru in Type Zero. Um, I, don't, I know he did I Idolus, he must have done Ravers. I mean, this is his art style, so. Shout out to Roberto. Just learnt this guy's n name a moment ago. I'll put very minor spoiler alert warning on this video. Just think about it. Just because I didn't know Caligo Oldor's name until. Literally half an hour ago, in which I did the Arana Highwind fight, and that was absolutely off the hook. Um, for anyone who hasn't played the Arana Highwind fight, wow, holy smoly, that took my hype for this game. Um, that really did bump it up to me. At a moment, I don't want to sound like a fanboy, but it was at a nine out of ten in enjoyment. 
After the Irana Highwind and the Niflheim base fights, 10 out of 10. So we've just got some NPCs here. Um, I've seen this chick, she looks pretty dope. Um, that guy over here looks very much like Sid Olestein. Or Quato Bashdor. Curious. This is giving my hands some real cramp action. But yeah, this this might take a while, but this art is just worth it. Not to rush through. So all the kind of logos and sigils and the different companies that are in here. Um, in EOS. Insomnia. Oh, what we got here. Wow. Don't know what's going on there. That looks like some sort of griffin in a town. Ah, this looks really very much like Versus 13 uh, Lucis. Um, so I've not been to Lucis, obviously. I'm wondering if in FF15 it still very much looks like um, Versus 13. I'd be pretty excited for that. These are really old pictures. So I liked the old look of Lucis. I mean, I guess it is because this building here um, is the same. I don't think this is the Citadel. Is this the Citadel? Uh, no, I don't think this is the Citadel, but I think that pretty much Lucis hasn't changed that much in design. We've seen it in Kingsglaive. Um, we've, dri we've driven around Lucis and it all kind of looks like this. There were some Tokyo-ish looking areas. Um, areas based on Tokyo. Cindy and the Hammerhead. Gen 5. But yeah, just enjoy the themes, the beats I've got playing. I'll probably overlap this with music. The Crow's Nest. I just went to the first Crow's Nest, the original one. The Blockade. I think there's a fishing spot either to the left or the right. <laughs> I spent about 15 minutes running around with half the peasants in my live stream going, Go left! And the others go right. <laughs> I got so confused, I gave up. So I think you could fish near there. Um, oh, what is the name of this? I mean, this is the shard, I think. This is the shard where we get Titan. Can't quite see it clearly with the crease. Or is it where I've just gone? There's this area called. Um, oh, I can't remember its name. Can't remember its name. I'm really bad with location names. I will learn EOS eventually. I just know the main ones. Dust guy, clean, Klein. Well, that's a tomb. We meet Corleonis. Gordon Key. Not Gordon Quay, Gordon Key. I really like Gordon Quay's Keys theme. That is such a dope theme. Anyone hasn't been there, look forward to that. Dungeon. Curious, I've not been here. I've not been here, so I've got all this to look forward to. I'm really hoping I don't get any too bigger spoilers for myself <laughs> towards the end of this. Wiz Chocobo post. So yeah, nothing uh, too spoilish just yet. Chocobo post is um, had quite a design change from the Dusk Guy demo. I like it now. It's kind of deeper in the forests at the moment. Lestalum. Yeah, I'm kind of spending my most of my days around here at the moment. And uh, got Iris, adventuring with her. Not, I'm not going to talk about any of it, but basically Iris is um, super awesome. What have we got here? What is this? I can't even... Oh, is that the Lestalum power plant? I think it is. I never noticed it before. I guess that's the meteor around the power plant. I didn't notice that in the game. So is the power plant literally built on top of the meteor? I'll have to go back and cite that spot out again. Is that, where's that down there? Is that little Iris? I'm kind of looking at this upside down, so I can't quite see. But still curious as to why only the women do all the work there. Yeah, this is the other place I was thinking of. I get confused between where the, um, Disc of Corthus and the other one beginning with R. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's Titan. Don't know if you can make him out. It's Titan holding up the. Um... What was he holding up? I don't even know what it was. Kaim, the lighthouse. 
more logos. Yeah, this, this is what the attention to detail is. So much attention to detail in this game. And, um, I can really, when, when you really think about it, four years to do all of this, all of this art with pretty much most of what was done from scrap, uh, scratch, they would have had concepts, but they would have had to have, um, redone most of this. It's kind of a Where's Wally looking picture. <laughs> Should we find where, Where's Wally? This must be, yeah, this is Lestalem. These angels are very curious. We've seen angels that have sort of weepy stuff coming out of their eyes. Very much like what Crow looked like. Oh, Leviathan. Ooh. Train. Uh, but people keep asking me, Peasant, what's your, um, what's your most pleasant surprise for 15? I say the combat system. Oh, the train. Uh, I, I knew what the combat system would be. I played it in Dusk Eye and I thought it was okay. Um, no, I could do this, this is enjoyable. Uh, but Dusk Eye's combat would have not had me anywhere near as gripped. The overhaul is so considerable from Dusk Eye, how far the combat has come on. And I've seen it liked a lot in my comments is this is a game where I actually enjoy getting pulled into encounters. I'm the same. Absolutely love it. I mean, the more encounters, the better. This, I really loved it in Type Zero. Every fight I could get into, I would love. But 15 is the same. So for me, the biggest joy is the combat system. How much of a pleasant surprise it is. I don't even know what I'm looking at at this point. So I'm not going to focus too much on it because I don't know. Is this the inside of some of the... Carriers, the drop ships. I guess so. I'm just clenching my anus right now, hoping for no spoilers to um, come get me. Enemies, here we go. Magitech. Now, the Magitech in this game are. <laughs> well, the, you see on some of the pictures where their faces come off in bits and pieces and the helmets and. Yeah, everything to do with the Magitech is just slick. I really like their design. Ah, yes, these are new. Zegnortus. They call these flying fortresses from... I mean, that is one of the flying fortresses, isn't it? Am I looking at this wrong? Is that the white ship that flies in the air? I think it is. Ooh! Very nice detail on that. Let me get that right up in there. Damn. It looks kind of freaky though. Where's this behemoth? Where's the black? Where's this iris gone? It's got no black in the middle of his eye. Here we go. Koal, Anak, another behemoth. And uh, let's not forget, they put a koal behind Nyx Ulrich. A phantom koal behind Nyx. What does it mean? Don't answer in the comment section below. When I, when I say I ask questions all the time in the stream. Who's this? Who's that? What's happening? They're rhetorical. You, you never think that anyone would know what a rhetorical question is. I don't actually want the answer. This is just me um, expressing and voicing my curiosity. Catablipas? Oh, Catabo bleepas? Catoplopus. <laughs> I've never been able to pronounce those. I tried to take one on, um, it didn't go well. Marlborough, not seen a Marlborough yet, but we know they're in the game. I have killed a Sahagan. Ain't killed any of these lobster looking motherfuckers. Griffin, black chocobo, white chocobo. My chocobo, I called it Chichiri, right after the Type Zero one. I tried to take on a Griffin, that didn't go well. There are choco chicks in this as well. I saw uh, one of those, and uh, they're really fat. Masushu, down at the bottom. Basilisks, oh god. I, I've i not come across many status effects either. I came across confusion, um, and toad. 
<laughs> oh god. Toad had me in fits of laughter. I didn't- I actually didn't use a maiden's kiss because I just wanted to keep um, toading about. <laughs> zoo. I saw a zoo take off. Um, shat me up a good un. The music came in, it- the choir as it took off. The music in this game is so on point. Um, oh my god. Yo, Jimbo. What the f- Oh, let me get it so it's not shining. Oh, is that what they're actually calling the samurai creature? <gasps> Whoa, the dark samurai looking things are actually called Yojimbo. Interesting. Not seen reapers before. But I didn't know that that's what they were called. Oh, mind flayers come across, across plenty of those. What's this over here? Chardonnay. Oh. Oh ho ho. Oh, Chardonnay's looking mighty fine. It's gonna hurt my heart to take put her down. Chardonnay. It came from. Um, I just did an etymology on it earlier today. What was it from? I learned what culture um, Chardonnay came from. I can't remember. Gargoyle, Arachne. Fought plenty of Arachnes. Oh, it looks like we've got another flip out. Uh, how does this work? Two sex. Alright. So we've got Demon Wall. <gasps> Demon Wall. Die. Diewood Pan? Diewood Pan? Uh, fuck knows how you pronounce that. Let's open this up. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's the uh, sizing chart. Wow, with the. Uh, Size of animators. Sorry about the glare coming off this light um, on the ceiling. Apologies for that. It's not um, showing it off very well. But yeah, the animators is ridiculous. When you look at when you look at the size of Noctus. Look at him down there. Let me try to uh, point him out. Where is he? There. Look at Noctus. Look at animators. God damn. I, I can't wait to take that on. I've heard some more clarified rumors about how long it takes. Uh, I think it's 72 hours in game. And as a day, is about half an hour. It's likely that fight is 90 minutes. I'll be the first to admit I'm disappointed. Having a 72 hour fight would have been. Um, it just would have been a status that Final Fantasy XV should have had. <laughs> the only game to have a boss that takes three days. Death Claws. Shiva. Oh. oh. Much slicker picture. Never seen anything in this good of clarity. Right, I'm not going to try to make any jokes, guys. I'm not going to try to, uh, but I'm literally having an anime nosebleed right now. <laughs> she looks slightly different. Just look at the, uh, oh man. I mean, I'm not a man for foot fetish, but. I know I might be. <laughs> look at the stockings, look at the legs, look at the figure, look at the curves, and respect it. <laughs> Shiva looks so dope. Uh, my favourite Shiva is Type 0 Shiva. Um, I get asked that a lot. And the Shiva, all in all, is just my favourite summon. Leviathan with uh, some sort of actual skull. I have no idea what that is. That looks real. That looks like they might have based Leviathan of a of some sort of real creature. Cause that's real guys. I don't know. Maybe they made that out of plasticine. I'm like, it's probably not real. I'm probably being a dick. <laughs> Who knows? Uh Titan, I've also seen the monuments that have been erected. They've actually created real life um statues of Titan. They look super dope, but that picture. I really hope the colours are coming through and just even the detail that's sort of spraying off across here. Really beautiful. Bahamut. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. There you go. I skipped over that. Um, sorry, I didn't see it. I don't know how many people want to see it. Because we, we've pretty much seen all the others. We've seen Titan, we've seen Leviathan, we've seen Rama, we've seen Shiva, we've seen Ifrit. Um, Bahamut is one I just want to keep as a surprise. Pub competition theatre, childhood. What on earth? Pub competition theme, 
childhood. Whoa, look, they've made all of the characters um, children. So you've got Noctus, Luna, you've got Child. Um, this is a bit surreal. I don't even know, know what this is. I think this is Nyx holding loads of children's hands. I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. It was a pub competition. This again. Pick this picture again. These ones. I'm a fan art, I'm guessing. I guess that's all fan art. The threat of the army. And I noticed in my playthrough that pretty much all of these trucks are now rusted in the game. I've not actually seen any active ones, but there's loads covered in rust. So I think that was old military tech. And when Arden brought the Magitech down here. So sort of this old tech became redundant. I'm guessing that's why I'm seeing loads of these old rusty trucks and none of them active. Competition Titan. Damn, look at some of these Titan pictures. Wow. Just, wow. Spectacular. I'm so chuffed with this Almond Collector's Edition. I've got so many boxes, I don't know where to put them. Um, I was going to say, have I got the book upside down? This is actually, uh, that's the way of the book. I'm not sure why this picture's upside down. Is Noctis hanging upside down? He's got this ring, this chain, and it's falling off. This is the way the picture is supposed to be. I don't know what's going on here, but curious. I could speculate some things, but... King's Glaive, Red Dope poster. Um, I noticed they haven't got the. I think I don't think they ever had the koala in it. Some character models, and look at that! Look at that Luna. That doesn't look like King's Glaive Luna, or Regis, or Nick. So I think that might have been some early concept art for what they were going to look like. Um, Regis definitely looks doper. Nick definitely looks doper. Nyx here actually looks like, what's his name? Who plays the Punisher? You know who plays Punisher and Sh uh, Shane in Walking Dead? Punisher and Daredevil. That looks just like him. <laughs> and uh, Luna definitely looks better now. Even in King's Glaive she looked better. I, I prefer uh, in-game Luna the most though. I think um, there are definitely some King's Glaive Luna fans. Which I can respect. So that's the old Lucy Eye. Uh, Lucii, Lucius Council, Claris is in there. I think most of these died in Kings. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened to her, for example. This craggy old woman. Idolus, Droughtus. We're coming to the end now of this glorious 192 page art book. Wowza Rooney, and then finished off with. What I think could have been, and this is the Japanese game case, this could have been ours. I've seen so much art that could have worked better as a game case. Um, yeah, and after seeing so much, so many better designs, um, I think they could have done better with the English game case. But, and then finally the back, which is the slick little camping, prompto tripping, <laughs> regalia. Uh, so that's it guys, that is the 192 page, super dope, I'm really happy with that, and uh, I've still got to watch episode 6, I've got it, I'm not going to, uh, let me flip this up, I've still got the episode 6 to watch uh, of Brotherhood, I've got it, I could watch it now, but until I can watch it live stream, uh, not live stream, just in a way that I can record it, so you guys can all see it and we can watch it together, I'm holding off. Holding off on the soundtrack, I want to explore it in the game first. And, um, Noctus. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's the final pit of the Ultimate Collector's Edition. Uh, until the next video. Cooper!